YouTube, it's Zapdogs TCG here and thanks again for tuning in for our TCG battle video. Today we're gonna be playing with Reggie Gigas and I know before you're gonna say anything, Reggie Gigas got into the top 64 at an international so it's actually very good and today we're gonna look at the uh, list that got used to got into the top 64 and it's all about disruption. If you're uh, not familiar with disruption, we of course have our uh, classic crushing hammers, our enhanced hammers, our plumerias, you know the drill, you want to get rid of, rid of all the opponent's energies, we even have the uh, the one of Articuno Jax to get rid of uh, the energies on both active Pokemon. Think about a guard of our Jax with Bazillion energies. No problem for us. We get our Articuno and bam, and we get rid of, of course, uh, yeah, the energies. And uh, why would we get the energies? We only have two energies in our deck. Well, we have four copies of Steven's Resolve to get everything we ever wanted. So it's basically like a magical ribbon, but Steven's Resolve can just put those cards in the hand because we do not plan on attacking at all. So it's very great. We have a lot of stall uh, Pokemon here. We have Regigigas with 180 HP. We're not gonna use the attack, it's overpriced. You, yeah, five energies for 160, that is definitely not great. Although you could attach DCEs and stuff, but yeah, it's all about the HP with Regigigas and uh, we're gonna try and stay alive turn after turn. We have Hoopa if the opponent has a lot of GXs in their deck. We have Chuckle if the opponent has like uh, one energy attacks. Think about a little Exeggutor, Gramble, all those decks use one energy to attack, even the Zoroark GX. And uh, we're definitely gonna get out our uh, Pokemon on the correct time. We even have Genesect GX. And uh, with uh, the combo of Metal Frying Pan, Genesect is a huge tank. It can even equip two tool cards thanks to its amazing ability. Double Drive, so you can just uh, get uh, maybe a Choice Helmet and a Metal Frying Pan onto the uh, Genesect GX. And that way it's a crazy tank that the opponent cannot one shot. And if they cannot one shot, Max Potion is going to be our key card. We even have things like Shrine to just get a residual damage between turns and uh, then Tapu Lele can just uh, use Magical Swap out of nowhere. That could happen but it also is kind of neat against of course things like Rukwaza. So not that we're gonna attack anytime soon but you never know how it goes. Uh, we even have things like Plumeria as mentioned to get rid of the opponent's energy. We have Faba which can just put a tool card, special energy or a stadium card uh, in the lost zone and that is going to be very very uh, crazy because there's no uh, way of getting cards back from the lost zone. No uh, resource management and all that good stuff. Faba is going to be nice. Gladion, two of co two copies of that is in here because uh, sometimes we might need our Articuno and it might be priced. Sometimes we want our Magical Swap and it might be priced. So two copies of Gladion will make sure we have access to our Discard Pal. And the Lusamine uh, combo here is uh, we can loop our Lusamines in order to just get our Acerolas back or Stadium card. The Encounter Catcher will help us a lot to stall even further. So this is a stall deck. I don't know if it's uh, any good, but we're gonna test it out on the Versus Ladder and see how far we're gonna get with this crazy deck. So Regigigas, Gigas, I know it's weak to fighting, so if we're facing Boswell Jax, we're probably gonna get out something else than the Regigigas. Gigas. So we're definitely gonna go for things like a Hoopa. Uh, if uh, the, he's running like lots of Jax, like Boswell Jax. If they're running Baby Boswell, then I think I'd rather go for Chuckle here. Also, Chuckle can attack for Carl of Energy, so that means Counter Energy and Rainbow Energy does work. We won the coin flip. We definitely want to go first to see how we can manage to get something going here. Uh, first turn, Steven's Resolve would be nice. Uh, looks like, oh, the opponent already knows what we're playing. We have Max Potion, Enhanced Hammer, Crushing Hammer, Choice Hammer, Alpha Mary on the hands. He's already gonna say, like, it's a stall deck. Oh no. Yeah, Regigigas. I don't even have them. I put them away in the bulk. So, yeah, we even start with Regigigas, so that's cool, I guess. But our hand does not look very good. We have a Max Potion and we have a uh, DCE. Or actually, the uh, Enhanced Hammer to get rid of DCE. So, uh, hopefully, the opponent will be playing DCEs. We even have Fava to put uh, stuff in the Lost Zone. The good news is we can start first on that first turn. Can be like a Gladion for a card that we're desperately, desperately gonna need in this matchup. I'm interested to see what the opponent might be playing. He gets a mulligan and it is going to be Gardevoir. Oh boy. Gardevoir. So Articuno will definitely have to show up here. So hopefully it's not in the, the prize card. We're going to start up with a Steven's Resolve. Our turn will end, but we're definitely going to... I want to get out of Hoopa. Comfortable with that. Maybe a Crushing Hammer and another Steven's Resolve. This guy has a one retreat cost. Alola Ninetales might show up. This is going to be very difficult. I don't even know what to do with this deck. It's very, very strange. Definitely want another Steven's Resolve here. And what else do we possibly need? He's gonna attack uh, on the first turn. We have Choice Helmets that could work. We have Plumeria, Lusamine. I think I want to go for a Hoopa so we definitely don't get destroyed early game. So I think that's good. We're gonna get a Steven's Resolve so we can Steven's Resolve next turn. Next turn we smack down the Hoopa. It's going to be great. The Hoopa is uh, with the scan roll guard. We'll make sure if the opponent plays all GXs, Hoopa will be safe. 
And uh, a deck like this is probably not gonna run too many non-GXs, except for maybe like a Curlia. Beacon shows up. I am not afraid. He's do he does not attach any energies whatsoever. So that's cool for us. Alone uh, Nine Tails, okay, cool. I'm cool with that. We're gonna smack down this guy. And we are going to use... Another Steven's Resolve or a Gladion. In this situation, I think I have everything I ever wanted. So I'm just gonna go for Gladion here. What do I need from this list? Don't need that. The Enhanced Hammer might be nice, but we have Fava, Metal Frank Pan. The Lele is definitely interesting. He does run Brooklet Hills. Maybe an, an extra Max Potion could be kind of helpful. Or an extra Hammer. Ooh, what do I choose? I'm actually going to go for... We have lots of Max Potions. This is might be a card we might be needing with the Magical Swap. Hmm. I'm just gonna get the Lily. The other cards we still have. We still have three max potions. We still have. Let's see here. Let's just check the deck. We have the Articuno, which we can get out with Brooklet Hill. Just a little known fact that is awesome. If we need it, it's definitely there. We have uh, one enhanced hammer still left in the deck, one in the hand. We have Faba, so we can get rid of lots of special energies here, which is awesome. And with Lusamine, we can even get them back. So let's just pass the turn here and see how, how far we're gonna be able to go with this game. Oh boy, Regic Gigas. Alola Ninetales will show up, which cannot attack Hoopa, but it can attack Regic Gigas. We have a Max Potion ready. And we have an Enhanced Hammer. Ooh, we even have Counter Catcher if things go wrong. We might even get out another Regic Gigas. So we definitely don't get donked. Ah, Hoopa is just there. It's not even... He might just judge us. If he judges us, that will be terrible. Another Rolls. There is a little Ninetales. What is he going to get? With the Mysterious Guidance ability. I am not the professional player of this crazy stall deck. But I can already tell that the opponent will have lots of hard times ahead of him. Because of Hoopa and of course the huge HP of Regigigas. Meaning that the opponent will be needing 6 energies on his Gardevoir. And I can always get... Ooh, no, no, no. I don't like Swampert here. Although Swampert, we can easily get rid of the super boost energy with Enhanced Hammer or Faba. Ah, Enhanced Hammer is better. Goes to the Lost Zone immediately. Timer Ball. Boom. It stills. It heads. I think I'm gonna go after my... We even have Articuno, so I am not worried too much. But I am worried, of course, of that Swamper that might be coming up. We even have Counter Catcher. He just passes the turn. We have another Gladion. Mm -hmm. No energies. Oh, there is an energy on board, so let's use Crushing Hammer. Ha ha ha! It stills. Well, that did not work at all. Not work at all. We're definitely gonna receive some damage here, which is something I don't want. So I am going to go for Steven's Resolve, and we are gonna get ourselves. Chuckle is pretty useless in this matchup. I want a Reg Gigas, or maybe some more hammers, two hammers, and another Steven's Resolve, or an Ace Roll. Ace Roll could also be a cool combo. The Shrine could be kicking in to de deal huge damage between turns. And the Lusamine, did we already use some interesting supporters? Only one Steven's Resolve. A Hammer. Maybe Plumeria, now that I think about it. Plumeria, Crushing Hammer, Enhanced Hammer. I think that is the craziest combo ever. Let's get them into hand. We do not, uh, we are not able to loop our Steven's Resolve right now. So maybe we should have picked another Steven's Resolve. So that should be sore, but our hand size looks amazing whatsoever. So Guzma. Gonna go after the Hoopa, going into the Beacon, using Beacon once again. Cool. It's trying to get out lots of Gardevoirs to just do something, I guess. Probably gonna see Swampert now being able to destroy our Hoopa. But we have an Enhanced Hammer ready, so you don't have to worry about it too much. We have the Metal Frying Pan. The Metal Frying Pan. Genesect GX could be nice here. Oh boy, let's go with a crushing hammer first. Bam! It steals once again, so this does not help at all. First things first, let's smack down the shrine. And 
I am not afraid of this energy attached to the Alola Ninetales. That one can only dish out like 70 and 30. I want to get rid of energies on the Guard of War. Huh. So in that instance... Genesec gets him two prize cards, but with the Metal Frying Pan, we at least get a huge uh, benefit of getting that Metal Frying Pan equipped. It. And I think I am th in this situation, I'm just gonna leave that energy onto the little Ninetales. It cannot damage my Hoopa at all, so I'm just gonna go for a Gladion once again. And what card might I possibly need? Another Enhanced Hammer might be useful. We have one in the hand, one Fowl, one Max Potion. Getting rid of energies is key. Maybe the Metal Frying Pan. To boost our defensive capabilities. Oh boy. I think I'm going to go for even this is a difficult matchup. I I don't even know what to pick here. I'm gonna go for the metal frying pan. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm then gonna wait to equip it. Or ah, we're just gonna equip both of them to the Genesec. So the Genesec right now. Takes 30 less damage from everything, like 60 less damage from everything, so we're just gonna pass the turn. Oh wow, that was kind of ridiculous. The shrine will kill myself. I will kill myself thanks to the shrine. Oh boy. But if the shrine stays in play, he also gets damage counters, I guess. Wow, that was a crazy mistake. That was a crazy mistake. The shrine is definitely not a key card here. It will actually screw up the process here. Hmm, we have two shrines, so we can get rid of one and put in Mount Lanakila. But the shrines on the Guard of War is just so amazing to pass up. Oh boy, what did I do? We even have two Metal Frying Pan, but we have Max Potion, so at least we can heal up the damage with shrines, so there's that. But that Guard of War is coming soon. He has two energies attached. Two basic energies nope this is whatsoever the shrine is definitely kicking in here cool so let's smack down let's use plumeria and we are gonna get rid of this and that I think and let's get rid of one energy on the guard of war while we can we have Max Potion, but we're gonna wait. He might just target Genesec, but it's not even the time yet. The time is not ready. He is slowly getting damage. Same goes to the Card of War and to the Nine Tails. We have the Lele and Counter Energy in deck. We might give up two prize cards with the Genesec, but. Eh. We could use Acerola on the Genesec as well. Another Card of War shows up. And Curlia shows up. Hopefully his super boost energy is prized. Three rare candies in his discard pile. And the shrine is kicking in everywhere. So. Lusamine. I think I want to go for that Lusamine combo. And what do I want to grab? Steven's Resolve and Plumeria. Both of them. Bam. And now we pass the turn. So Genesect has 120... He needs to get lots of stuff. He needs to get Guzma, Secret Spring, Secret Spring, DCE. He might do that, but then we're gonna get rid of all of his energies thanks to Enhanced Hammer and the Faba. He's throwing into his deck so heavily. Oh yeah. Wonder if he's gonna be able to pull it off. I definitely want an Ace Roll up for next turn. This Genesec is not looking very good here. He's just passing the turn. So we have coming into his turn 100 HP remaining. Needs to get 160. Three Guard of Wars. That is possible. Definitely possible. Hmm. Just gonna heal up for now. Didn't see any kind of things here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for a Steven's Resolve. We have Enhanced Hammer and Plumeria already. And I want to just smack so many Pokemon energies on board. I think I'm going to go for 
maybe Articuno, maybe a Hammer, Ace Rolla. Or D is the correct place. I don't even know. Do we have another Stevens Resolve? Yeah, that is also a good plan. Stevens Resolve. Is that a good combo? Definitely gonna grab my Genesec later. I'm gonna go with these. Don't even know what I'm doing. It's just a stall deck. Bam! All these things. Shrine is doing lots of damage. We have our Lele ready. And with Steve Res Resolve, we can get, of course, our counter energy. Wow, he's drawing into his entire deck. Three Gardevoirs are on board. Brooklyn Hill, so the Shrine is gone, but at least we have the Ace Rolla in hand, so okay, he just passes the turn. Passing the turn. Choice Helmet goes definitely under the Reg Gigas. Mm. Hmm. He has, of course, access to that uh, annoying Twilight GX here, so. Oh. I think I'm gonna lose a mean combo here. I'm gonna grab myself Shrine. Lose a mean. And. Another hammer. Is that the correct play? Maybe we should get out Articuno soon. We have Brooklyn Hair right there, so even if he does something crazy, we are prepared for it. Look at our hand size. Maybe we should play a known hand. I do. I know there's a lot of people like like to try that out. What is he waiting? He's definitely waiting for a super boost energy to get rid of the Hoopa. That is something I know for sure. But then his uh, Swampert will be stuck in the active because we have Enhanced Hammer. Secret Spring. What is he up to? He has so only nine cards left in his deck. Tapu Lele. Okay. Here comes the hammer. Finally heads. Get rid of that. These are all GXs, so if there's enough damage on the board, if he knocks something out, we can rely on counter energy. We have another hammer. It fails. Crap. Lusamine can get back Stephen's Resolve and the Shrine. Let's smack this down. And let's get Genesec back. Because I don't want this GX receiving all that damage. Yeah, I'm just fine with this. Now that the Shrine will keep kicking in, we will be able to abuse the Lele. <sighs> Even if, if counter energy is, uh, if his super boost energy is prized, things will turn out bad for him. Energy onto the Alolan Vulpix. Hopefully that is the case. So look at this deck. It's not, we don't don't need to do we don't even do anything. We just pass a turn and play a weird play with some weird cards. Energy retrieval. Two of them in the hand. Is he gonna be able to knock out Regigigas? We have Choice Helmet. He needs seven energies on his guard of war. Ooh. That's three. That's four. Four energies on the guard of war. Hmm. I think now we need a Guzma. Or a Plumeria. I don't know. He's afraid to attach his DCE. He's definitely gonna get the KO right here. So we probably need to do something fast. We could use Plumeria. I think I'm just gonna go with the slow method and use the Lusamine. I'm gonna get back. Steven's Resolve and Lusamine. Lusamine combos are kind of OP, I guess. 
and we are gonna pass the turn. <clears throat> wow, look at this. Now he's gonna go after Red Gigas, and we don't have any access to, of course, uh, Articuno now because Shrine is up. Ultra Ball. <laughs> what is he doing? He has lots of damage. The thing I wanna do here is use. The counter, the magical swap to put the damage on the non uh, G axis, so we can actually get only a Hoopa and play. But he might have Ace Rollas, these come from Curly, uh, Rolls, these come, this comes from Curly, yeah, and a Ditto. Okay. Rescue Stretcher, three of the men. He can retreat and use the Twilight GX. Kuzma. Alright, is he gonna get the KO? Oof. We definitely need Articuno right here. Definitely need Articuno. All these energies. Hopefully he gets a super boost energy, otherwise it's game over. So the shrine is gone, but we have Lusamine. First things first. There's no DCE in his discard. Let's just use the enhanced hammer. And the counter catcher goes on to the Gardevoir without energies. That's cool. And up next we want to use, we can use Plumeria, but I want to use something else entirely. Let's smack down this Genesect. It might blow up in our face, but I don't even mind. And with the Steven's Resolve, we are gonna grab Kuzma and the Counter Energy. Hoopa, I want Hoopa, I want a Kuzma, and I want a Counter Energy. And that way we can use the Magical Swap and things will turn out alright. Because he has 50, he has 100, he has 70, that is lots of damage, so we can spread that across the board, so we can knock out all the non-GXs. Okay, he's back, super boost energy, oof. We don't even need to... Super boost energy coming onto the Gardevoir, ooh, that is interesting. So, now that we are in this position, we smack down the Lele. We give him the counter energy. We use Guzma on a Gardevoir with zero energies once again. And we smack down another Hoopa for the memes of it. And now we use Magical Swap. We could have also used Psy Wave on that Gardevoir with lots of energies, but I'm not afraid of his shenanigans. So, first things first, let's knock out his Vulpix. We could also knock out this Gardevoir with lots of energies. How many energies in his discard pile? Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fairies. Ooh. Does he have access to other Swamp Birds? 3 rare candy, I don't know. Does definitely, ha definitely does have, not, uh, ha not have as access to his uh, Super Boost anymore, so... Hmm, what am I doing? That Vulpix cannot attack regardless. It's a slow kill process. Maybe they should, they should find a way to speed this process up because it takes quite a while. Ta da! 100 damage that we still need to put onto the Swampert. But now that I think about it, yeah, he still has DCEs and like he can Secret Spring to attack with his Swampert. I wonder if he plays Ace Rolla. If he plays Ace Rolla, he can still have, have access to his Super Boost Energy, so this Swampert needs to go drastically. Hmm. 
Do we also knock out the Vulpix? That is the question. These are all GXs, so let's clean the board. Hmm. I don't know if this is the correct play or not. But these GXs cannot damage my Hoopas, which is awesome. And we have two prize cards which, which we can pick, which is awesome. So did that 100 damage, let's just keep that onto that guy. Yeah, that's fine by me. Maybe we should have knocked out the Gardevoir, who knows. But I think the Swampert is the best plan of action. And we are still behind on prize cards. And we got the Enhanced Hammer. Ooh, that is awesome. What is gonna go on right now? Secret Spring. DCE and KO. Okay, that is fine. Now we have Hoopas, which cannot get damaged by GXs. I'm just afraid of that super boost onto the Swampert, so for now I'm just gonna go steadily with an Enhanced Hammer onto that. Hmm. The Fawbuck could also get rid of the. I'm just gonna use. Huh. Lumeria. We're gonna keep the Faba for later. So, let's get rid of Cynthia. And... Another Cynthia? Okay, that's the pass. And now we just use Lusamine to get the Shrine to do the rest of the job. He has zero cards in his hand and his deck. Looks like Hoopa is just standing here. He only needs to take two more prize cards, but he does not have any way of getting an attacker that can just one-shot Hoopa. So I think we played that pretty well, I guess. There's a still a hop. He can use the Twilight GX here. Ooh. But there's no way of getting so much energy as he can. Of course, use Twilight to get his Red Candy and a Swampert and go for that strategy. Maybe we should have used Faba to get that DCE uh, into the Lost Zone. Hmm. That Swampert will definitely cause us a lot of trouble. But we have Max Potion. Too bad that we got rid of all of our Cynthia's. Maybe that was not the best plan. Kuzma's, DCE's. Okay. And Rescue Stretcher. He might even win this one. I don't know. Lusamine. Ah, just use Fabar for now. I'm done. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna be able to win this. This is a crazy match. We have Max Potion, we have Lusamine, which can back can get back a Stevens Resolve to get back more Max Potions. He still has a rescue stretcher as well to take up his deck. Huh. Yes, guys, I know this is a long video, but it is what it is. Now, Gardevoir still needs to get out of the active. He still needs to have a DCE and a Fairy Energy onto his Swampert. I wonder if he's going to be able to work. There's like one, two, three, four, four, five, six. He has the necessary energies. There's Tapu Lele for the Guzma. Okay, how many DCEs has he already used? Zero and one in the lost zone. Power draw again. Hydro pump for 80. Hooray! Look at all those GXs. Max potion that. There's no switching card. I would have. Love to use Articuno right here, but Articuno is a two prizer and there's no way we can do anything about it. Lusamine. 
can get a Cervola back. Oh, I have a plan. Lusamine, Acerola, and then we can use Acerola next turn, and then use Lusamine. Oh man. This is crazy. How do we go about this? Let's use Plumeria. Let's get rid of these cards. Let's get rid of that DCE. And that's that, I guess. Also gonna smack. Uh, Rage Gigas can get damaged by the Guard War. <laughs> Four cards left in the deck. We need a way to get his DCE removed. We have Ace Roller right here. Maybe we can draw into some good resources soon. <laughs> here comes Hoopa. You can also not play Guzma at this point. Mm, let's just smack it down. Four cards, three cards left in his deck. Hydro Pump. Come on, man. Hammer or whatever. Choice Helmet does not help in this matchup at all. Lusamine. And we are gonna get. Area Steven's Resolve. Still have another Lusamine in the hand. Plumeria is not even necessary. Yeah, let's use Faba. We don't discard resources with that. Faba and Plumeria. Two cards left in his deck. Ooh. He gets the KO here, which is fine. Now we Faba. Ooh, that is cool. Let's counter catch her a guard war. And use Faba. <laughs> wow, this is an annoying match. Look at all these DCE in there. He can even use Guzma. <laughs> There's only one card left in his deck. Wow, he just passes the turn. And now we use... Plumeria? I guess. I guess that's gonna be it. And he only has one card left in his deck. Ooh, this is crazy. Next turn he loses. He got ha he has a rescue stretcher, but he only needs one more prize card though. So what is he gonna do? Rescue stretcher. Three of these in the deck. He cannot use the Guzma here. Plumeria again. Let's use Lusamine, and we're gonna get uh, this. Ah. Uh, huh. I always want Lusamine back, so I just want Lusamine together with a Plumeria or whatever. I already had a Plumeria on hand. La LOL. Uh, next turn I use Lusamine again, so it doesn't even matter. What do I need? Lusamine and something else. Lusamine and... Maybe a Cynthia would not be bad here. Ah, maybe a Shrine. Ah, Shrine will not matter. He only has two more cards in the deck. Steven's Wolf can get, of course, our Max Potions on board if he somehow miraculously can get his card of War out of the active. Hmm. This deck is crazy, man. What is this? The stalling madness is real. Oh, we have the max potion, so it doesn't even matter too much here. Oh, 
Well, Steven's results. What are do we still have left in the deck? We have a chuckle. Yay. Stretcher and is roll on and boom. And a hand hammer? I think that's cool. Uh, he has zero cards in his deck. That means we have one with this crazy stall deck. Even though he only needed to pick one more prize card. That is unfortunate. There's no nothing he can do. Swampert cannot attack. He probably has like a DC left, but no fairy energies. Cynthia. Ooh. Ooh, this is still not done. This is far from over. Oh man. You gotta be kidding me. Let's. Mandla and Aquila only works for basics, but I'm gonna smack it down regardless. Because I want to. Lose the mean combos. I want. I'm definitely gonna get my shrine out right now. Because this is getting us nowhere. And another loser me. If he wants to play it like that, next turn we smack down the shrine. And it's going to be that. Here you go, man. Eat that shrine. Loser me again. <sighs> I want. Mean Guzma. That's. And now the shrine is going to do lots of damage. He has a DCE and he has an energy. I know that for sure. Oh god, this match is crazy. Uh, but what do I do now? What do I do now? Lusamine combo? How about that? Lusamine combo. We got Acerola and we got Lusamine. Pass? These energies on the Gardevoir do not matter at all. Maybe we should try to get rid of some energies here and there. How many energies in his discard pile? One fairy energy. He had that energy retrieval, which was interesting to say the least. How many Guzmas in his discard pile? Lusamine for mm. Lusamine and. Baba, Isarola, I have everything right now. I don't even need anything. But we are almost decked out as well, so let's grab a Cynthia. We only have three cards left in deck. We have to play it carefully, boys. But we also have Rescue Stretcher. Hmm. Field Blower, <laughs> he gets rid of the shrine. Too bad. I wish I was just such a huge fan of the shrine, so let's get Lusamine. This time around, it's going to be Lusamine and a shrine. Shrine. Um, maybe we should use the shuffle technique to just shuffle some stuff back in. We have this guy. We don't have magical swap capabilities anymore, so bleh, bleh. I think that's cool. Pass! <laughs> wow! What is this? This guy does not give up. Doesn't give up at all. But you see, you see the true uh, capabilities of this stall deck. You have an answer against everything. Even against Gardevoir. Looks like he's stuck. And if we don't bench anything, he will be stuck for the rest of the game. We're not gonna bench it. Lusamine, we get Cynthia again. This. Well, let's get a lady on this time around. And this is how you can win with a gnome hand. How many cards do we have left? In one, three, four. We have like 
bazillion cards in the hand. Six, nine, twelve. <laughs> With Lucy, I mean, you definitely can get there, but you can only get stadiums and supporters. Ah, looks like the shrine is doing like bazillion amounts of work. Buh. I am just. Where is my Lucimine? Lucimine for. Lucimine and Faba for the memes of it. Pass. We could definitely play a known hand in this deck. Definitely. Look at this. We could declare ourselves the victor. If we just use like something like Kuzma, get that unknown, bam, we declare ourselves the victor. There's going to be a guard of ours seeing to discard soon. How many swampers does he have left? Oh. He, he can't get out. How many rare candies does he have in his discard tree? He can't get out another swamper. Wow, why would he get out another swamper? There's no way, actually, no point of him doing that. Lusamine for Lusamine and Plumeria. We have like two cards left in our deck. How crazy is that? He has also two cards left in his deck. Max Potion. Oh wow, he's getting rid of his own energies. Oh well, that's cool for us, I guess. Now that I think about it, now I definitely want to use something like a Plumeria. Let's get rid of the Chuckles. Bam. Pass. Next turn, we definitely need to use Cynthia, otherwise we are doomed. He only has one energy left in play. Look at that. What is this? Alright, that was our last card. And now we use Cynthia. Yes. Whee! All of our cards go back. Look at that. We, didn't, we had like 20 cards. That's crazy. Fast. Hmm. Well then, he has zero cards in the deck, so this is the longest video in existence that we ever did. But it definitely proved that this stall- wow, oh my god. Oh boy. This guy does not give up, man. The craziest match ever. But the shrine is definitely gonna get ourselves some prize cards, right? Oh, there we go. We got our first... Two prize cards from another GX. Boom. And uh, we have Plumeria and Steven's result. That is interesting. We have lots of max push, but he doesn't have any energy, so. Eh. I think I'm gonna go for Steven's result, and we're gonna get ourselves. You could have guessed it already. Hammer? Nah, we're just gonna get our Lusamine. Hooray. And. Do we have Cynthia? We still have Cynthia left in the deck. Stretcher, not needed. Acerola, let's go. Bam. <sighs> I wonder if he has still left a, a DCE left. There's a DCE here. There's a DCE. Two of them in the loft zone. Look at that. Max Potion. He's afraid of losing. Now he doesn't have any energies anymore. Hmm. Lusamine, here we go again. What do we want? Cynthia Lusamine. <laughs> and this goes on forever. Pass. Do we get our prize cards? Are we gonna take our prize cards? That is the main question. We are, we are not gonna deck him out. He wants to lose like with this strategy, I guess. Lusamine! Let's get Ace Roller. Lusamine. Boom. And that's how you see how infinite the loops are with Lusamine. It's just crazy. What? Defeat? What is that? The timer? What? What happened? Destroyed by the timer? I don't know. In real life, we would have won with this deck, but uh, in my mind, we already won with this deck. There was nothing he could do. We would have definitely used, like, done. I didn't know there was, like, a timer. 
Oh yeah, it is what it is. So this deck is definitely legit. Definitely check it out for yourself. It can win like against lots of matches. Definitely against Dorowark. I also didn't know that there was like a time uh, limit at the match. So definitely should have not used the Lucid Means when I didn't need it to do that. So uh, we learned a valuable lesson today. So definitely check out Regigigas. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to most the like button. Let me know what you think about stall decks and Regigigas and uh, yeah, in general. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh,